What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. So it's holiday season. We all know what that means. It's sales season. So we just wrapped up our Black Friday sale, but don't worry. We got the 25 days of savings sale starting just in a few days. So starting from December 7th all the way through January 8th, we're going to be re releasing new items every day. So there's a new deal that's going to come up every day and you're going to be able to cash in on some savings and it goes all the way way past Christmas so that everyone's got a chance to burn those gift cards that we all get for presents at the end of the year. So make sure you stay tuned to the 25 days of savings sales, new deals every day. So getting into some wintertime fishing gear, we got a few things for you today. The first one, we got a new highly anticipated reel from Shimano. This is the new Corrado 300. Um, we're super stoked that this finally came into the shop. So it's the Corrado K in a 300 size. So big oversized spools made to hold a ton of line. Um, you know, if you're throwing big swim baits, even big crank baits, Alabama rigs, anything of that, you know, you know, large caliber lures looking for trophy caliber bass. Um, this is the reel you're going to want to have. It's got a ton of power. Uh, myself, I'm a huge fan of the old green Corrados. I got a couple of them. They're probably some of my favorite reels of all time. Uh, super happy seeing new Corrados out on the market. So if you're looking for a reel just to throw big swim baits, it's something that's got to hold a lot of line, a lot of 20, 25 pound line that you're making really long casts with. This is going to be the one you want to go with. And um, when you're comparing it to the old generation Corrado, this has got a lot of upgrades in it. So it's got the Hagane body, so super rigid, st strong body, X-ship technology. So you're going to get a ton of cranking power. I think this one dishes out the 4.7 gear ratio. It dishes out 22 pounds of drag. And it does come in two gear ratios. So there's a 4.7. So it's going to bring in around like 25 or 26 inches of line per crank. So you know, slow, got a lot of power, great for those bottom, you know, those baits that you're dragging along the bottom. And then there's going to be a 6.6 uh, gear ratio reel. So that's going to be more high speed, you know, big giant top waters, uh, glide baits, you know, jointed baits, stuff where you want to move, you know, move your bait a little bit faster and you're going to go with that higher gear ratio. But, um, you know, in comparison to the old Corrado as well, this is actually a lot more compact. It palms really easy. It does not feel like a 300 size reel at all. And it's extreme for how big it is. It only weighs 10 ounces. So you don't feel like you have a, you know, a giant weight on your rod. This is an awesome reel for big, uh, big lure applications. So check out the new Corrado 300 from Shimano. Next up, got a couple of lures here for you today, or a couple terminal pieces. This first one is from Gamagatsu. This is the new Jika rig. So we got the Jika rig weights a few months ago that you can just attach on any kind of hook, but now we have the full system. So comes with a Gamagatsu Superline hook that's fully ringed. It's got a welded ring on there where you tie onto. So that weight is able to freely swing, and then this hook is able to freely swing as well. So this is just a little bit different technique. It's actually really popular in Japan, and it's, it's just a little bit different than a Texas rig. So you're going to get a little bit different action. This weight's just going to allow your bait to slip in and out of cover. And then when you go to set the hook, you're not going to pop that weight through the fish's mouth like you would with a Texas rig. So just a little bit different technique. I've actually already got one of these tied on for this weekend, specifically for a lake I'm going to. It's going to work perfectly. Um, if you're looking for something just a little bit different than everyone's going down the, the bank with a Texas rig or a jig or whatever, you know, you just want like a soft plastic, something just to change it up a little bit, this is going to be the way to go. Check out these new Jika rigs from Gamagatsu. And then another little terminal piece we got, we got the new 3X treble hook from Trocar. So we all know Trocar makes the sharpest hooks in the industry. They got that three-sided surgically sharp point that is just sticky sharp. I mean, takes barely any pressure to get these hooks to penetrate, but now they've got a 3X treble. So if you're looking for a treble that just got more power, it's not gonna bend out on you, this is gonna be the one you wanna go with. Um, as you can see here, when you're looking at it, it doesn't look like a normal 3X treble. It's not a super heavy wire. It's just made out of a stronger wire. So you're not gonna get a super heavy duty hook, you know, thick gauge wire that's actually hard to, to get through a fish's mouth. You can still use this on, you know, like 12 pound line, 14 pound line, and you're not gonna, ha uh, you're not gonna have any problem getting hook penetration. But this is just gonna save you from, you know, battling bigger fish. And when you get them hooked on the gill plate, and stuff like that, and they're trying to turn and crank and bend the hooks, they're not gonna be able to bend these 3X trebles. So check these out from Chokar. Next up, we got a new little worm from Chompers. So we got the new Chompers Drop Shot Worm. So winter time, we all know we gotta go down to finesse tactics. This is gonna be a, a new worm that you wanna have in the arsenal. Just kind of an old school design, you know, a straight tail with an egg sack on it. So it's 
Um, it's super soft and buoyant, so it's gonna get a lot of action. To, to me, with that super skinny pintail, just a little bit of movement, you know, it gets that tail to quiver. What's cool about the chompers baits is they're made out of a, out of a floating plastic. So it's gonna remain buoyant and give your drop shot, you know, pretty horizontal presentation, just like a bait fish. You can use these on real small shaky heads, darter heads, all those finesse techniques that we gotta use in the winter time to get bites. This is gonna be a, a worm you wanna throw in your, in your tackle box and use. It's also loaded with their salt and garlic scent. So, you know, you're gonna get more bites, it's gonna trigger more bites. Fish are gonna hold on longer once they bite it, which is crucial during the winter time. You get those really, really light bites that you can't feel all the time, and they're gonna hang on to this to give you more time to set the hook. All right, we got a couple boating accessories. So the first one here is the new Fisherman Sidekick. So um, what this is, is you, it's, a, it's an accessory piece that you can attach onto the bottom of your pedestal seat on pretty much every boat. The configuration on here is made to fit just about most pedestal, on the bottom of most pedestal seats. So you just unbolt your seat from the post, put this on there, screw, screw your seat back on, and then you have a little accessory to put your cups and uh, you know bags of plastics. You can put your pliers and tools. There's holes all along the sides so you can attach, uh, you know, if you're cutting off different hard baits or jigs or anything like that, if you're changing out lures, you can put them right there. You know, uh, if you're if you got your dad on the back and it takes him a long time to get in and out of boat compartments, just you know, leave him some lures and some worms up there and he'll be good to go for the day. Um, just cool accessory, just to allow you to not have to go in and out of your boat compartment so often. You keep your your necessary stuff right there on hand. Another one we got here, you might have seen from TV. Uh, I know I've seen this on on his show for years and years. This is the Timmy Horton Money Pole. So a great accessory to have in the boat, and it's going to save you tons and tons of money over the years. So it, right now, this has collapsed down to its shortest distance. It's six feet, but it goes from six feet all the way to 18 feet super sturdy aluminum pole. And what this does is it has a small corkscrew on the end. So you can screw this onto your line and push down and just get all your crankbaits and Alabama rigs and all kinds of baits unstuck. So if you're in 18 feet of water or less. So, um, you know, small investment to pay, but it's gonna save you so much money over time. I can't stress enough how important it is to have some kind of a lure retriever on your boat at all times. I don't even like to go out fishing and throw those big swim baits and stuff unless I have a lure retriever somewhere on board. Um, just a great tool to have, especially if you fish in lakes that aren't, you know, more than about 18 feet deep, because that's what this extends to. This is just going to help you get all your lures back when you get snagged, save you a ton of money, and then you're not retying, uh, you know, retying new lures and wasting money. A great option there. All right, next up, we got a new rod from Castaway. So we got the new Castaway cranking series of rods. This is a phenomenal rod and it's built with Castaway's proprietary carbon fiber blank material and it's also a mix of fiberglass. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds with this rod. You're getting the, car you know, the sensitivity and the lightweight uh, factor of graphite or carbon fiber. And, but you're also going to get the parabolic action of a fiberglass rod. So it's got that nice parabolic bend, bends all the way down, down below the midsection of the rod, which is exactly what you want for crankbaits, but it's not, it's not a super heavyweight and uh, heavyweight and unresponsive fiberglass rods like some of the old traditional fiberglass rods are. They got this ergonomic reel seat on here. It's actually really comfortable. Uh, cork handle. Then they got this fiber wrapping down here on the bottom to add a little bit of strength. They got them everywhere from a 7.2 to a 7.10. So anything from you know small square bills all the way up to you know big magnum diving crankbaits. They're going to have you covered with their cranking series. So if you're looking for a cranking rod. To add to the arsenal, check out the one, these new ones from Castaway. All right, we got a couple new apparel items from Hook. So not only keeping you warm out there on the water, making you look good, they've got a few new items. So they got a couple new t-shirts, like this new top water shirt. It's got a sweet graphic on the back of this bass going airborne, just busting the surface. And then we got this new one that I'm wearing here today, the new camo bass shirt. These shirts are Super comfortable. They're a cotton poly blend, so they're extremely soft and really lightweight as well, which is a lot, which I prefer a lot better than traditional cotton shirts. They also got the new um, Bass and Blue hat, which has got a Casey Scott um, artwork patch on there. Bass just eating a bluegill, super awesome hat. And then we got the new FinTech hoodie. This hoodie's actually got a water resistant coating on the outside, so it'll keep you keep you dry when you got a little bit of mist or a little bit of boat spray. You don't have to worry about that soaking in. And then on the inside here, it's got a brushed fleece material, so it's extremely soft on the inside. And then last up, 
we got this new ballast reversible jacket. So on the outside, it's got this kind of uh, polyester, almost like a puffy jacket material. And this has also got wind, uh, kind of a wind resistant material and a water resistant material. So keep the wind off you and keep the water off. But uh, like I said, it's reversible so you can open it up. And on the inside, there's a sweet camo pattern. This is actually a Casey Scott design camo pattern. So you can reverse this, flip it around. You can go camo side out, you know, you know like a flannel on the outside, or you can go with the, the kind of the puffy jacket look on, on either side. So giving you two options of one on that jacket. All right, that's all we got for, for today. Make sure you guys keep checking in next week because the 25 days savings is about to start in a few days. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. For more information or to purchase the product seen here today, make sure to click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's episode, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.